Hello, I'm Jesse Rosen, president of the League of American Orchestras, and I want to take a few minutes to tell you about a trip I'm just back from to Pasadena, California for the Conference of the Association of California Symphony Orchestras, otherwise known as AXO. And uh, I love the AXO meetings. Um, you know, I always think the League, our big conference is the extended family, and the AXO meeting is the immediate family. It's very intimate, and people know each other. It's very warm. Nice. It's a nice, nice place to be with colleagues. And um, uh, but there was something in particular I wanted to to relate to you about the AXO meeting, and uh, it was a, a panel discussion that I led with uh, or I moderated with four. Uh, orchestra executives. And um, among other things, one of the themes that emerged from these four leaders was um, what's involved in or what does it take to stay resilient as a leader. And each one of them, in one form or another, talked about the importance of having a network of support. And um, these networks can come in many forms. It can be allies, it can be your staff, it can be confidants, people completely outside of, of your orbit, but people who are simply allied with you and want to help you uh, uh, do well. That could be a coach, for example. And um, various um, uh, scholars who study leadership have talked about this concept a lot in John Cotter's work. Uh, it's the notion he calls a guiding coalition, so that strategy is advanced and the leader is supported by having a group of people all moving in the same direction. In Ron Heifetz's work, he calls it giving the work back. In other words, for the stakeholders and people for whom the work matters, engaging them in taking on some of the responsibility for problem solving. And um, I believe this is a great way to go, particularly when, when things are hard and really demanding. And I think there are at least two benefits of working this way. One is you relieve yourself of the sense of having to take it all on and solve every problem, and that can be a crushing responsibility for many people. The other reason is that I think you actually get better results because you're drawing on the resources of a wider circle of talent, people coming from different perspectives, different experience, and so you get better results. And um, you know, a piece of this sense of having a network of support I can't um, not mention to you that the League actually helps with this, and um, through our monthly conference calls with managers, through our, our meetings of all the various constituent groups, this is another key way of staying connected with people who are on your side, want to help you, and so don't forget about that opportunity. And lastly, I just want to uh, compliment uh, Chris Sinclair, the president of AXO, uh, or actually executive director of AXO for pulling off a wonderful conference. I know how hard these things are to do. It was flawless and um, my congratulations to them. And thank you all for taking a few minutes to listen to this reflection. Thanks. Bye-bye.